So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and if you want to know how to enable the check my progress bar you can check the description of this video. Now first of all wait for few seconds till the lab gets started. Now open the cloud console basically open the admin console in incognito window. Now here basically we have to enter the username and password and it is present on the lab instruction itself. So just copy it and paste over here. Now same with the password and just paste it. Now follow the way I am doing and you will definitely get full score. Now click on I understand and just review the terms and conditions. Now after that we have to set up our domain. So I will tell you how you have to do. Click on just set up. Now here you have to click on verify. Basically we have to verify the domain. So just here you have to click on get started and make sure to check this option if you don't check this option you won't be able to complete this lab now click on continue and just confirm it now wait for the domain to get ready and just reload the browser of the admin staff so once you have reload you will be able to see this page okay like this now here click on the groups click on the groups now here basically we have to create two groups and set the roles as per it so come back here and you can see here we have to create a group for group name it will be everyone group one is everyone group and one is invite only group okay so this will be the group email okay now the next it click on the make sure to check correct detail you have to enter the lab email here okay now once you have entered the lab email now once you have entered the email you have to click on next and select announcement group once you have selected it now here basically you have to just click on this all add members to everyone you have to click on that only okay when you will click on this a new page will open basically you have to just add some members so for adding the members click on advance and click on this add all now add to group now basically we have done here this thing now what we need to do we have to go back to the groups like this just follow the way I am doing and you will get the score without any issue now basically we have to just do one thing that is create another group that will be little bit restricted type for the name you have to type it is executive okay it's executive enter the name here now we have to enter the group email okay so here enter the email like this now here we made one mistake sorry we have to enter in the group email okay so just enter the everyone remove from the description basically we next. have to create a custom grouping so what you need to do you need to click on the custom and just uncheck this one basically you have to check uncheck all the present in entire organization you have to click on it now click on only invited users only now here you need to click on create group now if you get any kind of error no need to worry about it just follow the way and click on done you will definitely be able to get the score for this particular task okay i hope you have understood what i have done so just follow along with me and now we'll move to the next step of this lab so what is the next step of this lab we have to just check the score and then share the resources so for sharing the resources what we need to do we need to create a building data okay So now on the search box you don't have to use the directory you have to just on the search box type and hit enter now it will show manage resources click over it now what we need to do we need to change something so first of all you have to click on add building and here basically click on add building again now follow the way i am doing in the video only now for name you can write any name you have to write any name i am writing my name you can write your name and floor number you have to type l okay so we have added the building data now we have to add the resources so just click on the resource toggle like i have done now basically here we have to just create a resource here basically we have to enter the details which are not pre-populated like first thing we have to enter what is do you know it is resource name we have to add okay so you have to just copy the resource name from here like this and then just add the capacity you can see it's five mentioned on the lab instruction 
Now once we have added all these things, what we need to do? We need to just click on add resource. So once you will click on add resource, the resource data and the building data have been added. Now click on this toggle. Basically this one I can click on it. You have to just click over it. Now here click on add a feature. For feature name what you need to write. Let me show you what you have to write. Come down here. You can see here. Wait a second. We have to add a feature. For the feature name it's here. Refreshment station. Copy the feature name carefully and just click on add. Once you have clicked on add. Just click on close. Now the feature has been added basically. Now click on it. Now here we have to make some modification. So first thing is that we have already created all the things here. The details are already populated. If you don't see you can modify like this. First of all we have to modify the features to this one. Which we have just now created. And after creating we have to just save it. Okay like this we saved it. I hope you are understanding what I am doing and are trying to say. So once you have saved it. Now you need to do one more thing. Like what you have to do. Let me show you. From here click on the home. Now here we have to add a domain. Click on add a domain. Now a page will show. So basically here the domain. First of all let's check the score. For domain there is no restriction. You can use any name. And here many of you may make mistake like while adding the name you may make one mistake that the domain should have .com, .in, .it anything. So make sure to add it and then click on add domain. Okay I hope you understand. Now click on get started. Now here basically you may get this kind of output. So here you have to click on send a switch in manual. Manual okay switch in domain users different host make sure to check it out otherwise you won't get the score now like this do this now basically this domain being ready may take some time up to 5 to 10 minutes so you don't have to wait for that much time you can come back to the lab instruction and check the score if you get the score you will be able to complete this particular lab and if you like the way i have solved it do like the video and subscribe the channel and check the other remaining labs on the playlist apart from this arcade facilitator program will be starting soon so for that also you can check the description playlist. Thank you guys. Have a great day ahead. Let's check the score again.